Man, what the business is, you already know this big fella's in. Right now, you tune in to take over TV, man. Make sure you take over. Hold on. You said you only did three interviews your whole career? Yeah. So who, who you got? Y'all, man, people be fucking with me. Why not? I don't know. So you did me. I know you did the social goats. Me, you, the social goats, the Zach, the DJ in Houston. Okay. I did. I did. Um. And what the nigga's name was in um Baton Rouge. Um. Mm. Damn. It's so many. It's so many. Man, man, shout shout out to the niggas in Baton Rouge. They know what they're gonna talk about. They was at the Booster Show too. Okay. I did interview with them. Yeah. And shit. That's it. In the radio station. You know what I'm saying? But as for sit down and just running it. Yeah. Take over TV. Shit, Lil Zack the DJ. Yeah. Shit, that's really it. Oh, uh, I did some, I mean, I did no, I did a couple interviews. But it was just it, it wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? It was like when a nigga was up and coming. You feel me? Like Right, right. Ain't nobody called and checked on me yet. You know what I'm saying? But shit, why, why you think uh, why you think it's been a, I ain't gonna say a lack of interviews, but I guess I can say a, a lack of in person interviews. Oh, um, I think I think it's because it's Shreveport. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm from Shreveport, right? So like we are our own biggest people, right? If you get what I mean, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like it ain't nobody who I can go link up with, or it ain't really nobody who I can go. Hey, let's go plot this with. You know what I'm saying? Come up because we are our own biggest people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, in order, in order for me, I feel like in order for me to get on and be big like I want to be, I have to, I don't say move, but I had to just go out and just link with different people in different states. You know what I'm saying? Who who got a big, who got a big, you know what I'm saying, relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, say cheese and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All them niggas there, like, they cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so hot right now to the point that I feel like I need them, but the money that they're asking for now, like, well, I can help you help myself. Because Shreveport is a big-ass market. It is. It's un I think it's just untapped. Yeah, you know it's, un it's, un it's an untapped market. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shreveport is a big-ass market. We have a lot of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think I'm from Baton Rouge, but I'm not. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I knew for a fact when I first got in the game, in Louisiana, Baton Rouge was the main state that everybody was looking at, so therefore I target myself in Baton Rouge. Smart. You know what I'm saying? So everybody wow. think I'm from Baton Rouge. When I first started doing shows, Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? When I first, like the first thing I just learned, like I can drive Baton Rouge and drive down that motherfucker. Like I know, like I know where the fuck I'm in. Like I know everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I be out in the hood and shout out to my nigga PQ. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be out in the hood and everything. Like, I know, I know Baton Rouge on the back of my hands. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lack, Shreveport is a lack of communication, a lack of, a lot of people always say, um, Shreveport support system is, is weak. Which is really not. It's just Shreveport like a baby alarm. Everybody around here trying to be better than everybody and everybody on the same level. I agree with that. You feel me? Like motherfuckers around here. Like, man, look, I be downtown in Shreveport, man. We be motherfuckers be around here wearing motherfuckers be $500 pair of shoes, $300 pair of shirt to impress a motherfucker who got on a motherfucking me Walmart shirt. Or a motherfucker who didn't learn how to print their own shit. Shout out to my nigga Darryl. You okay. know what I'm saying? They gang, grind and shine. You right, feel me? Like, right, we got so much right. shit going on in Shreveport. Shot the pull. You know what I'm saying? We got like a lot of shit going on in Shreveport. It's a lot. A lot. But like you said, people put money behind these these um, clothes and shoes and stuff, but they won't put it behind their career. Because how? They don't know how. They don't know how. How can you put money behind something that you don't know how to put money behind? You feel me? Like the game, the game, the game is the game is so easy now to it's hard. Because I can tell a nigga, hey, give me five thousand dollars, nigga. I'm gonna get your song played on the radio. I'm gonna get you. I'm, I'm gonna get you a couple shows. I'm gonna get you this. I'm gonna get you that. I'm gonna get you that. And I'm gonna do that, but it don't get him nowhere. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
all the clubs and promoters on relationship now. You feel me? So therefore, I can make one phone call and get a nigga booked ten shows, but he don't get him no way. He don't he don't elevate? He don't elevate, and that's what I learned. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't shit to go book a show. If you an artist out there, you can't book a show. You don't need to rap, or you don't need to do what you're doing. I don't give a fuck what it is. You can make a song called "Motherfucking Me." I like the sh- I like the shit. I like the piss. Whatever song you drop, if you can't book a show off that song, then you don't need to rap. It's all it's just blunt with me now. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't learn the game. It ain't, it ain't it ain't the game that I. It, it's not nothing that I wanted to do. It's something that's chosen me. So mm-hmm. therefore, by the, by it's choosing me, I learned the game. I what, understand the game. What's the biggest lesson you will learn since being in the game? Man, don't sign no deal. You feel me? Don't sign no deal. If you if you gonna sign a deal, make sure it's it's it's, it's trustworthy. You feel me? Make sure right. make sure it can get you some. Make sure the people that you sign with, or the people that can who saying they can do that, make sure they can really do that. Good or bad, whatever the situation is, I don't give a fuck what the situation is. If I jump out, the, if I if I run bus out the window, I need to make sure a motherfucker down there to catch me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Or at least at least have some shit that let me follow following the trash bag, a trash can or something, on some trash bags or something. You feel me? Right. That, 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 that's, that's the main thing. Cause the deal you being you being an independent artist, that's a lot of power. But at the same time, a lot of bullshit come with being an independent artist. Motherfucker don't believe you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You got to prove yourself to everybody. And you ain't got nobody talking for you, talking for yourself. You feel me? I ain't got nobody booking my shows for me. I ain't got nobody out there looking for work for me. I'm the same way as a blogger. Same, same things apply. Yeah, yeah, you know, same, two different professions, same yeah, things same, apply. It, it, but it all meets in the, same, in the same lane. Right. You feel me? Right. It all meets in the same lane. Like, with me, like, I had to take what I was telling other people and what I was trying to help other people do and do it for myself and look where I'm at now. And the same people I was trying to help, they still in the same position. And I still trying to help them. I still trying to help them. Even though I'm in this position in my life to the point that I ain't got to do shit for nobody. I can shit on my whole city. I can talk shit about my whole city. I don't do that though because it's not working. This shit ain't forever. Right. This shit ain't forever. If God made me stop doing shows, don't make no more music, or don't or go back to being zeal. Guess what? I had fun. But this shit ain't forever. Have, now, you, have you been offered a deal? Yeah, I signed I signed a deal. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I signed with Firehouse. Okay. I think Cat Hurricane got me a deal. And that shit was bullshit. Uh-huh. That whole situation was bullshit. Everybody, everybody who had something to do with that shit was bullshit. Real talk. Bullshit. But hey, don't shit stop the party. Don't shit shot the motherfucking party because you know me. I'm going to do what I got to do. <laughs> so, but are yeah. you, so are you still under that deal or you got off under it? Man, I'm, a, I'm out there. I'm out there. If the, I hope the lawyer did what he pulled. I paid the lawyer to get me off there, but I'm out there. Can you say what made it bullshit? Huh? Can you say what made the deal Bullshit. Um, I had um really, but you know I had lots working my shoulders. I had lots working my shoulders. Mm. It was a copying frame on working my shoulders. They took out working my shoulders. Mm. All three thousand. I mean, all three million of views. All that shit got to get down. You look on YouTube right now. I got like, I had like three videos here, a million. They took all that shit down. Wow. Didn't know that. Didn't know. That. And, and this and this and this how I like my business. You feel me? Like a lot of people don't know that. Now y'all know. But working my show was taken away. That's why I don't promote working my show that hard as I used to no more. I, I still get videos every single day of people working their show, but I don't post them. I might post some, but I don't really post videos of people doing a dance no more. Man, I did over twenty six. I did over. 27 million views on that video that pimp walking and working the show. Yeah, my nigga shot it. You know, that, that nigga the pimp 
mm-hmm. walking and working your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Man, that motherfucker did like 27 million views. That's the one, that's the one Snoop posted on his man, IG, Man, Snoop right? Dogg posted that motherfucker. Man, I hear so many other people post that motherfucker to the point I know for a fact everybody know that motherfucking song. They do. 